Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back for Vlogmas Day 7. I think we are on day 7 now, which is crazy. We are getting very close to Christmas. Is it next week? Shoot, I think it's next week. Well, um, in this video, I'm going to be trying out some techniques that I saw online for wrapping your presents all fancy pants like. And I actually don't have that many gifts because... I wait till the last second to get my gifts. Not smart, but that's what I do. So I'll try out a couple of techniques that I saw online and you might laugh at some of the things that I have here. Don't laugh too much though. We're, we're trying our best. We're trying our best this year. But I've got a few different wrapping papers that I will show you. I've got, uh, this looks like double-sided tape and I've got regular clear tape. I've got some hemp cord because I don't have any ribbon so this is what we're going to use this year. I've got my scissors and I've got my phone in case I need to reference the videos that I saw <laughs> for doing these fancy pants techniques. We, we will see though. Let me show you the items that we got for our family. Um, we leave the gifting up to me, the, the picking of the gifts up to me because Zach is not very good at it, I will admit. Um, one year he got us all Christmas. Um, he got us all a bag of Lifesaver mints and wrote Happy Christmas on it. Uh, I think I've told that before, but <laughs> since, since that happened, I've, I've taken over the gifting process. I also really like gift wrapping. When I was a little girl, that was my favorite thing to do. So much so that I would wrap a present and then open it and rewrap it because I wanted my wrapping to be just so. So anyways, let me show you what we got so far. We do not have a lot and I did show you a couple of things already. Also, I highly doubt that family is watching this video, but if you are, please, please don't watch it. I'm showing gifts in this. Thank you very much. All right, so I showed this one already. This is a plant holder that we are giving Zach's sister. I don't know how I'm going to wrap this. I may just put this in a bag because that is the easy go-to. Got to slide all the way down here for this guy. Ugh. And then we got her this cute pot, which I already showed too. I have no idea how I'm going to wrap this. Again, we might just put it in a bag. We also got these for her. These are cedar planks and you cook fish on them. We saw it at the grocery store and she actually loves doing this. So I figured that's a great gift for her. For Zach's dad, we got Tupperware. I know it's a goofy gift, but we always accidentally steal his Tupperware. I just brought a whole bunch of it back on Thanksgiving and he basically gave it right back to me because he gave us Thanksgiving leftovers. So, um, we're replacing his Tupperware. Got him a couple of boxes of these for my dad. My dad is a very simple person when it comes to gifts. He does not want any. And he's not the kind of person where he says he doesn't want any and then, um, really does. He truly does not want anybody to give him gifts. So, I try to give him things that I know that he needs or things that he's been interested in. A few years ago, I stayed with my dad and I bought, <laughs> I brought over some coffee creamer and he wound up saving the bottle and using it as a water bottle. So apparently the lid just broke. This is like a few years later. The lid just broke on it and he said, hey, if you have any more of those, I really love it because I need a new lid for my water bottle. So, <laughs> I saved this guy, cleaned it out. Um, he likes using these guys. I might save a smaller one too because I don't know which one, you know, which size he prefers. But then I also got him an actual water bottle if he wants. It'll stay cold in this one at least. So I did get him that. And then he also, we, we talk about butterflies a lot because he has a butterfly bush in front of his apartment. He really likes the monarchs and the tiger swallowtails and we are talking about milkweed and how he wished he had some milkweed around. I said, well, we actually have a lot of milkweed around here. Why don't I try and take some seeds out of the pots for you? So, put some seeds in a little envelope for him so that he could maybe plant his own milkweed. And the seeds are falling out of here. <laughs> you know what, I might tape that guy up because I don't want, I don't want them falling out. So as for wrapping paper, we actually have a ton of wrapping paper in the attic. I bought them on sale after Christmas one year. Um, so I've got plenty of new rolls. I'm trying to use up the rolls that we currently have open. So for the first one, I think it's my favorite. It is white, purple, gold, teal, 
red green striped paper and it's kind of metallic-y I love this one so I want to use these for probably kid gifts because I've got to get my nephew some Christmas presents that I am most excited for and then my brother has another niece that I want to get a couple of things for I'm very excited this is the first year that I get to buy children's toys and that's I mean that's what it's all about that's who I think gifting should really be for but um, then I have I think this is Zach's mom's wrapping paper she gave us a few things and it's dark blue eh, like a navy blue maybe maybe a little lighter than that and then it's got little ornaments pictured all over it red and green ornaments there's a red one with yellow stars on it there's a white one with some holly and there's one with Santa Claus on it so all different types of little ornaments here that's cute these are the two that I picked out on sale this one is kind of a light blue green color and then it's got red and pink roses all over it and gold stripes it almost looks like wallpaper hmm well I think it's pretty and this one is kind of a quilted patchwork one very similar it has the same pink and red roses but it's got little red patchwork squares and a light blue patchwork square and then there's like little holly all over it so that one is cute as well so we are gonna try to wrap some of these items I feel like the easiest item to wrap would be this one but I want to try the cool techniques on it because go make it fancy so what I thought for this one I saw this technique where you wrap it and it has like a little pocket on the front I thought I could do that and maybe find some sort of spatula to stick into the pocket for the salmon that she'll cook on it so we will try that first hopefully it works I gotta pull up the video because eh, I don't know quite how to do it all right this is the first one that I want to try just so you can see it and this is by MD designs 16 on TikTok. so you see how it's got a little pocket and she put a little Christmas tree branch in there that's what I want to do except put a spatula looks like you need a lot of paper for it so I'm gonna do should I do this one should I do the green one I will do this one because I have it out all right let's see I got so into wrapping one year my dad got me that like easy cutter thing I loved that all right I don't know how big she uses a really big piece should I just do a whole a whole thing I have no idea I'm gonna cut a whole thing because she's got a whole looks like a whole sheet of paper she is using craft paper I don't have any of that it all went out in the garden this year and she says to bring it up most of the way which would be like right there okay she tapes it onto the package so we will do that and if I run out of tape I'm gonna be real mad okay then she starts to fold it in from the side I don't know you're not gonna be able to see this guys paper's not really cooperating here oh okay so this piece is gonna fold whoa I think I'm doing it okay so this piece is gonna fold ov over does that seem like enough should I do it a little higher like that how does she do that oh so it's got to go down all right now we're trying our best the person's gonna tear this open in five seconds and your wrapping your beautiful wrapping is gonna be thrown in the trash so I I guess it really doesn't matter I just I always like it to look pretty I don't know Hang on the other side as best as we can let me lift it up so you can see how I folded it it's very bizarre Oh my gosh, okay, ready? We're doing it, we got it, I think. Oh no, that doesn't look right. 
I want it to be in the center. You know what? Screw it. If it can hold a spatula, I'll be happy. I feel like I can see why the craft paper would be better because I can see the lines of the folded paper underneath. It's all right. Comes over. Come on there. And then, no, no, I don't like that. Wait. This just doesn't look like it looked on the video. Oh, it's really ugly. But I could definitely fit a spatula in there, whatever. You know what I might do? Let's do some double-sided tape and hold this baby together. And if you own dogs, you know that all tape does have complimentary fur on it. I really don't like how it folded together. <laughs> Alright, we're going to tape it together. We'll finish up the top of it. Yeah, I think this just takes practice. This is not an easy one. Oh, there's all this paper like jammed in the center of it. Uh, I don't know guys. I tried. This is definitely a me problem. This is not a, not a instructor problem here. So I'm going to fold like I guess you normally would where you fold in the sides like that. I also can't tell the double sided from the regular tape. So I keep trying to use double sided. All right, there's our finished product. It's not awful. So hold on, we're gonna try our, our theory here. Pretending that this is a spatula. See, I thought that would be kind of cute. Maybe I'll go to the dollar store, get some of these guys. Yeah, all right, it worked. It didn't work great, but it worked. So that's our outcome. I feel like this one's not gonna work, but we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. So the other one that I wanted to try, you like wrap it normally, but you have a lot of excess on the top and then you fold it over accordion style and make a cool like bow on the top. So since I have two of these boxes, I could do the top one like that with the big bow and the bottom one I could wrap normally and just like place them on top of each other. I'm going to wrap it in the green paper because I'm going to save the other ones for toys. So this is kind of funny and I'm kind of embarrassed to share this. <laughs> okay, if you guys watch Bob's Burgers, I don't watch it anymore, but I used to and there is a Thanksgiving song that Linda sings in it. Pass the cranberry sauce for having mashed potatoes. Yep, that song. So, <laughs> we used to host Thanksgiving, sometimes Christmas, at our house growing up. And I used to like making little movies and little slideshows that would show our menu and things of that nature on our computer for the family to see. And I decided one year to write a song, record it, and put it over a movie that I filmed on Thanksgiving Day where my dad was, you know, preparing all of the dishes and whatnot. And I must have sang it enough that I still remember it to this day. And Zach was like, you should share it. I'm like, well, that's kind of embarrassing, but I do it. It's kind of funny and cute. So my song started off, um, get your forks and get your plates, the turkey served up and don't hate, let's go eat some turkey. I made a movie for everyone to watch. Making the turkey, I need to check my watch. Their plates set up everywhere. Spoons and forks and knives to spare. Turkey, I can't wait till four o'clock. I can't believe I sang this in front of my family. So I can eat some turkey, turkey. And now I'm pescatarian. Turkey, turkey. Don't forget the gravy and the stuffing. Turkey, yeah.
that was my song, and <laughs> I don't know why I still remember it. I really must have sang it so many times, and I must have used it multiple years because that was almost 20 years ago. So there you go. That is my Thanksgiving Christmas song, um, just like Linda's. I had one myself, <laughs> and now you all are aware of it. Uh... I should also work on my singing skills, I think. All right, so this guy has got to have a lot of extra paper. So I'm going to come around the other side of the table. Oh, no, I'm breaking my whole... Oh, a berry! A berry just fell off. Shoot. All right. Stick that guy back in there and put that on the side. I'm going to come around the other side of the table to cut this paper long enough. Get your forks and then get your plates, the turkey served up and don't hate. Okay, so now I think I have to cut off some of the excess on the side. Now I'm getting myself all confused. Well, that's why we have to go back to the video. Thought I would figure it out. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> gonna be enough. Ah! Guys, this is why I don't like doing this. This paper's not... Could I just... Ugh. Crap. I'm gonna put... Oh. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna add a little piece of paper. It doesn't fit. I'm gonna cut off some of the extra paper here. It's too much, but I can't even work with it. I just wanted to make some stupid presents look pretty. What did I do? Pick the most complicated, they make it look so easy online. These are not easy. You want it to flatten out, but you want to flatten it out in the center. And I, I don't think that this is right. Okay, just wrap your presents normally and buy a big bow. Okay. I don't know, should I like do it one more time so that way... All right, I'm just gonna start folding it. If it looks terrible, it looks terrible. Oh no, because this winds up together. Okay, all right, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. We're doing the best that we can. I feel like these work if you're given a bar of chocolate, nothing bigger. This is gonna take me 10 years. Bad. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm so sad. I was really excited about it. So once you get to this point where it looks terrible, you're gonna take your your cord. Well I had cord. Where did it go? Oh here it is. I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna wrap it around and tie it to hold this baby down. We did a best. We did a best. Okay, we're gonna tie it pretty tight. So then, you're supposed to bring these together, except they aren't the same size. And I just, oh, I can kind of mess with it. Ah. <laughs> oh my God, it looks terrible. Hmm. Where's my double-sided tape? Christmas. Yeah. All right, guys. This was not this. This video did not turn out as well as I hoped it would. Um, 
I clearly need to work on my wrapping skills. I'm very disappointed. This, I mean, it looks okay on camera, but it, it's pretty rough. Like, if you're doing this kind of wrapping, I feel like you are a perfectionist and you want it to be just so, and this is just so not, like. <laughs> but we tried something new, so there's that. And um, hopefully Zach's dad enjoys my wrapping. <laughs> I tried really hard and that took um, 25 minutes. Anyways guys, I hope that you enjoyed this goofy Vlogmas Day 7 video and in the next one we're going to bring you to a drive through light show. So hopefully you'll enjoy that as well, but I hope that you guys are feeling good and we'll see you in the next. Bye guys.